Once we open our eyes, we open our minds, we open our hearts. The walls of the prison, the walls of the bubble, the walls of the box, whatever you want to talk about, just fade away and we become the true power that we really are, all of us. And the way they have controlled us is by blocking out that expansion of true self and lock us away in a bubble. We self-identify with labels. We self-identify with our life stories and our race and our sexuality and our stuff. They're just experiences. And they keep us in the bubble when we think that's the I and that's so we're in the bubble. They're in a slightly bigger bubble and so they control. When we realize the true nature of what we are, which is consciousness, eternal, exploring forever, consciousness having a brief experience with you, and we tap into that infinite creativity power and open our hearts. And when you open your heart, it's not just the love, not I love you. What you're doing is you're tapping into a level of consciousness that does not have something which is the very foundation of human control. So I am a unique expression of all that is, has been, and ever can be. I can go on exploring forever. Forever. This is just a brief experience. What is there to feel? Nothing. And when you lose fear, you do what you know to be right without asking the question, which is fear asking the question. This is what I know I need to do, but what are the consequences for me? It's asking about the consequences, which is fear asking the question, that leads to people not doing what they know to be right. Once you open that and you go beyond fear, then you don't ask about consequences. You just do what you know to be right. And you know something? This cult is terrifying. It's terrified of fearless people because fear is its currency of control. And if people are not fearful, it has lost its currency of control. And that's why I have more power than they have, because you know something? They are consumed by fear, and their biggest fear, because it's over, is humanity awakening to what the freaking hell is really going on, and who is really in control. They can only control by their target population being in ignorance of that. Once we realize that game is over, put aside fear, stop asking about consequences, and you will see where the real power is. Do what you feel to be right. Do what you know to be right. And you will make a unique contribution because that's what you are. Unique contribution to getting out of this. But acquiescence is not an option because acquiescence is how we got in. We can disagree on the way we see the world and be in perfect harmony with each other because no matter what our labels and the divisions and the fault lines that are used to divide us, this cult has every single one of us in its gun sight. Can you not see that now? Hindus are locked down, Christians are locked down, Jews are locked down. Hello? Let this be the time when we see the fallacy and the farce of allowing ourselves to be divided and ruled by our beliefs and our belief in I am right and therefore no one else should be able to have a different opinion to me because that's how the cult works. Plays groups off against each other, sets them at war with each other and if they just looked up, they'd realize that the same hands are holding all the strings while we fight down here. Come together, realize what's going on and where this is going and cease to be divided and, and moved. We're in this together and we'll get out of it together. 